Hey guys, and welcome to our first career mode of FIFA 23 we're doing Liverpool, because obviously we support Liverpool, but yeah. So, here's the squad. The main team, and then we got the second team, which I haven't set up yet, which I'll quickly set up now. We are going to be doing some transfers in this episode, don't think there'll be any games, we'll just be going through the squads. I've already set up all the development plans and everything, which I'll quickly browse through in a second, but let me just set up the second squad quickly. This shouldn't take long. And there we have it guys, that is currently our second squad at the start of this season. Not the best on paper, but hopefully it will do. It will do. So there we are. Okay, so I get off the bench mate, you're not even going to be at the club much longer, spoiler alert. And yeah, that will do, sorted. I just know Diaz doesn't need to be in there, where's Trent? Put him on the bench as well. Trent, there we go. So yeah, the other two squads. Let me just run you through the development plans, nothing special, I have put, already put the Youth Academy players in there. I just need to make sure they're loan listed quickly. So let me first do that, because they're obviously not very high rated at the moment. But they're gone. Okay, I've not gone through any of the loans yet. So let me go through these all now, you can see the whole squad as well, and I'll put the players on the loan list that need to be on the loan list. This is our youth player, by the way, Stanislav Shevkuk, or however you say his name. Ukrainian, decent. Let's go. Another youth player from our academy looked like a Coutinho sort of player, so we put him in as well. Although his ratings is not looking too great at the moment, he should hopefully grow. Yeah, Ramsey's on the loan list. You'll see why I put Ramsey on the loan list in a minute. And same with Nathaniel Phillips. And I believe that is everyone, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, and Co Coheem Kelleher. And then obviously Adrian can go, because don't Adrian at the club anymore. Sorted. Early loan offer here for Coheem Kelleher. I don't know why it's telling me all that stuff. I already know about that. We are going to hopefully loan him out for two years to Empoli, is this? Or Al Halal? It's some sort of team. Al Halal, there we go. I don't know why I thought it was Empoli. But yeah, let's just go through these quick. And we are soon going to start doing our transfers. Here we are, here's a couple of the players we're looking at. Just a few of them. That's why I call him Calvin Phillips. And Nathaniel Phillips loan to Borussia Dortmund potentially for two years. He won't get much game time there, but you can take him off my hands if you want. I don't want to sell him because obviously he is the GOAT. But yeah, let's just show you the transfer list quickly anyway, or the shortlist anyway. Pretty long shortlist. We're not going to be signing them all this transfer window. We are going to be signing most of them though. Hopefully at least. And yeah, Tino Livermento or James Tavernier. I am going to go for Tavernier because I've used Livermento before. But yeah, we'll start signing them in a moment. But first, the first signing, Federico Valverde. 
No, I don't want to pay 128 million for him. I'm not that rich. I've already calculated all the transfers and we should be able to do this perfectly fine with what I want to do. So Chamberlain and then 42 and a half million. Try to lowball them to begin with. They're going to want a lot more. I'm going to say now nah, I'm good. 47 and a half. And the sell on clause can just go through the roof for all I care because we're not going to be using that. See, we're getting them down a fair bit here. Let's see if we can get them down to 50 mil, which would be perfect. He doesn't seem to want to compromise right now, does Carlo Ancelotti. Right. Well, that's been stalled for now, but that's, that's decent. Hopefully, they accept that. And then let's go in for our second option, Jude Bellingham. Also, want to bring him to the club. But when we do bring him in, he is going to be loaned out if we get Valverde as well. Because Valverde will be starting and Bellingham will get loaned out because I won't be playing him first season to keep it semi-realistic, I suppose. I suppose realism goes out the window, the fact I'm buying him just to loan him out, but here we are. So Naby Keita's going in this one. Plus, we'll label it first, 40 million. Yeah, they're not going to be too happy about that, are they? And then we'll go all the way down again, 50 million. Try 50 billion again and just add a sell on clause this time. 58.3. I'm being as tight as possible money wise here so I can guarantee all the transfers. 57. And 55 should be it. Alright, due to not wanting him to walk out, I will accept the 57.5 million for Bellingham, plus Naby Keita, of course. And we will delegate that contract to be negotiated whilst we wait for a reply on James Tavernier. Not James Tavernier, on Frederico Valverde. And we'll delegate a couple of these contracts to be going to be sorted out quickly. So, Vlasic as backup goalkeeper. I've just said that name horribly wrong. Vaslik. I don't know if I just called him Vlasic or something. And Denier has been stolen from under our hands, which wasn't too ideal. So we have got a plan B for that happening. Hopefully he hasn't already been signed. He hasn't, brilliant. Need to scout him quickly, watch him probably be stolen as well at this rate with our luck. Does it already tell me about him or have I got to scout him a bit more? I've got to scout him a bit more. Okay, so let's go. Advance and hopefully Valverde gets back to us quickly. A loan offer for Harvey Elliott here. We'll accept that happily. Rail Betis go and link up with Nabil Fakir. And then two year loan for Kelleher. We'll take that and get rid of these. Transfer offer unacceptable. What is this? Negotiate. 54.3. Why you gotta be so fussy, boys? Just give me him for 50 mil and then we'll up your little sell on clause to 15%. Be nice, Real Madrid. 58. Oh, we're not doing all this again, are we? 52.5. Fifty-six and a half. Fifty-seven and a half. Right, except the fifty-seven and a half. Fifty-seven and a half. It looks like it's going to be 58. I don't like the 9 bit. Why is it going to be the plus 9 bit? Proposing transfer fee. Are they really going to be this difficult?
yeah, I will be petty like that. 57.850. I don't know why I made it so precise. But here we are. How much contract is he currently on? 150. Now we're going to negotiate this with ourselves. Because I do not want players' wages extortionately high. Important, yeah, you'll be the first team CDM, mate. He needs to be a right defensive milder, milder? midfielder next to Trent. Hopefully, we can get his wages discounted a bit here. 100k, go on, accept that. Lovely. Takes 100k a week wage. And the first sign in of the Liverpool career mode Federico Valverde. Darwin Nunez, international teammate. Here he is. I'm going to get copyrighted for this music, but oh well. You love to see it, an excellent deal apparently. I don't know why it's showing him in them positions against these players, because uh not even gonna be here. But here we are. Valverde is in the club. Bellingham offer on 60k a week, we'll happily accept that. Welcome to the club, Jude Bellingham. I'm only going to let this little cutscene play if it's a big sign-in, such as Bellingham Valverde. And maybe Martinelli if we do sign him in this transfer window, if not the others can all get skipped. Hopefully we see this sight in real life soon. Bellingham in a Liverpool kit. I can, I can dream. Another A-rated signing. You'd love to see it. Bellingham, welcome to the club. You're going straight back out on loan though. So enjoy your time out on loan. Right, let's have a little look at finances quickly. After we do this, accept that, and then I'm not trying to sell him, I'm trying to loan him out. Alright, the budget is looking healthy enough. I've got 35 million to work with if I'm wanting to sign. Gabriel Martinelli and loan him out with Bellingham. So yeah, let's try to sign Martinelli from Arsenal. Quality player in real life and I'm not happy he scored past us the other day so we're going to sign him for it. That's what happens when he scored past us. No, you're not having for me now. Who do you think you are? What did I just offer? 25. You know what that'll do? Remove exchange play. I have whatever amount I've just put in there. I don't know if accepted that. I should have probably gone for the 25 again, but here we are. Martinelli was much cheaper than I thought he would be. 50k, 75, I, could probably, I could have probably done that a bit lower, but just to try guarantee him. And then we're going to delegate to buy on James Tavernier. We're going to go 10 mil up to 15 mil. Let's go.
We have signed a new backup goalkeeper. We will be skipping this cut, so no, he's not exactly a huge signer, so yeah, let's just skip that. It's going to give an A again, because he's free. You can't exactly say that's bad financially. Thomas Vatslik. Hopefully he's good for us. Worth six million. We got him for free, so we take those. And yeah, all these players will hopefully be next season, apart from Montez we want to bring in now, but we need to wait for the scout report to come back. Scout reports back, so let's just do that and do that. Olympic Leon are trying to steal him from us, so I'm going to do this one manually just to do it quicker than them. Because if I delegate them, we'll probably be outpaced. So yeah, let's just steal, steal him from Leon before we get him stolen like Denial was our original first choice. Will you accept Prospect? Didn't think you would. That would do that. A low roll because he knows he's not going to play much. Five year contract. You're not going to accept that, are you? Three years would do. You probably won't be kicking about here for that long. But there we go. And he is signed. Rotation centre back. Not even rotation, to be fair. like the last choice centre back after Phillips goes out on loan, or has he already gone out on loan? I don't even know. But here he is. Montez joins. But yeah, he'll be in the second squad in the middle of Gomez and Canate, so he'll be fine. He's just there because I wanted to play a five back for that squad. Tavernier, 10 million, will happily accept that. Martin Lally is also joining the club, so we'll happily accept that too. Doing business very quickly as transfer window to start the career mode off with. Can you turn off this cutscene? I'm getting a bit bored of it now. 20, such a dodgy transfer fee, I could have probably got him cheaper. He's probably worth more. I don't know how it's going to be a day for that. I could have saved myself a fair bit of money. Okay, fair enough. So yeah, not not good enough either, mate. That's why you're getting loaned out. James Tavernier, 10 million. Let's delegate that as well. Put it on 60 to 90. The main reason I'm signing Tavernier is because he's just got nice stats and I want to use him as FIFA. I'm not going to use him now on my team unless he gets special cards. I thought might as well use him now. going to quickly add these players, Bellingham and Martinelli to the loan list before moving on swiftly with the rest of the transfer window. Both on the loan list now, let's continue on with the career mode. I've got to change the squads quickly as well in a minute. Who's this leaving? Is it Alio? Is it Carvalho? It is Koahim Kelleher going out on his loan. I should probably let that cutscene play out as it's the first exit of the career mode. But here we are, didn't let it play out. Nathaniel Phillips is also gone. Two years to Dortmund. Anyone else is just them too. I didn't even skip to see what ratings I was giving for them transfers. Or them loans, shall I say, but they're out the door now. Shorter position change. Happily do that. We're going to wrap this episode up in a second as well, guys. This was just basically the transfers and getting the squad ready. And for the next episode, I'll have them all ready to go. Squad set up. Development plans all sorted out. And hopefully, all ready. Don't know what else to say, really. Yeah, Spurs, you're not having Thiago, he's my goat. Uh, Full, I'm sure you can have Adrian, I need a bit of money back.
There he goes. The hot boy has left the building out on loan for two seasons. Bellingham loan offer, he'll be going to Atletico Madrid for two seasons, hopefully. Edson Fernandez, whoever that is. Kyde Gordon going on loan to Benevento. Two year loan. And then to Seminicas. Dortmund want to buy him. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. I thought he confirmed Tavernier, or is that just different? No, Tavernier has now joined the club as well. Oh. Oh no! Oh, oh no! He hasn't joined the club. What's happened here then? Have I done my maths horribly wrong? I, I just can't afford that though, can't I? I can. Why are you saying no? Um. Apparently, we're going to negotiate this ourselves because apparently it's not letting us have to have in here. Give me my little right back. So, oh, oh, um, brilliant. We had a bit. We have a bit of difficulty. We cannot confirm Tavernier. I will try sort that out outside of episode that reduce a couple wages and we can afford him hopefully. Well, that's not how I was expecting the episode to end, but. Next episode, we move on to the pre-season friendlies against Real Sociedad, Aroma, and who else? Who's the third team? I was trying to look, I got rudely interrupted by a loan. Who's the third team? Leverkusen. So yeah, peace out guys. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of the Liverpool career mode. We're just going to be doing this all through this FIFA. Stop interrupting me. I don't know, who even is that? It's uh, Edson Fernandez. I didn't change him to a cam before he left on loan, but here we are. Bellingham's loaned out as well. Perfect. Alright, so that will wrap it up. First game of the episode first game of the episode, first game of the career mode next episode. Peace out.